Let's see here. This is all buggy and shitty and yeah. The thing with when I'm wearing the wig is that I don't I don't hear very well when I'm wearing the wig. So it's difficult to tell whether or not the sound levels are alright, and they seem to be alright. But now I can't hear the sound. And I, I do like the music, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is lower this by a couple more decibels. And then boost the music up a little bit. Testing one, two, testing one, testing two, testing one, testing two, testing one, testing two. Let me know if that's alright. Because one of my recordings, you know, I thought it was alright and then it was terrible because you could barely hear me speak. So let me know if this is alright. I like to punch bananas in the face. Let me know if the music is not too loud and not too soft. And I'm gonna go turn my lights on properly. Now, I do have a hat to go with this one. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just have to settle for the wig. Glory, am I from the West Coast? Um. Yeah, here I am, I suppose. The west coast of Europe. <laughs> oh. What PC am I using? Uh, I'm using... I don't know. What, hold on. I can find this for you. Doesn't it let me copy this shit? Okay. So I don't know, but like the most important thing is like my processor, right? And that is, I'm gonna have to type type this in the chat like by hand. It's fucking stupid. I can't copy paste this. I've got less. I don't know if any of these numbers are important, but I suppose since you're asking, I'll try to give you the best answer that I can give you. Oh, that's capitalized. And then... And then, I don't know what my video card is. Something something NVIDIA. <coughs> it's a GTX, if I recall correctly, it's GTX 950. I don't know where I can find this. It's like 950. It's 950 GTX 950 Ti, I believe, if I recall correctly, but I don't know. Uh, hold on, there was more people asking me. I'm 23. Perfect sound. Fantastic. Mic not muted. Mic not muted. I don't think Europe has much of an East Coast, though. That fully depends on your definition of Europe. See, ac ac according according to to this game, for example, you could you could say that this is the East Coast, or that this is the East Coast. If you uh, if you say no, the, the stupid Europe ends in Constantinople. Let's say that. But yeah, that's uh. And that's my specs. Okay, so uh, today we finished up. We fought some people in uh, Asia still. I have no game sound. Been trying to get my game sound back since forever. Alright, game sound. Fantastic. 
Okay, so uh, last time, in case you missed it, we fought some people up here, we fought some people up here, and we fought Russia. And we took a nice tentacle here. Uh, we took these provinces, which allowed us to release Novgorod, and we also took some provinces up here. Now, because this was a direct land connection with my capital, I was able to core all of this in one go. Um, if you don't have a direct land connection to your capital, you need to core those provinces one by one. Now, I'd like to keep my tentacle intact, so... What we're going to do is, next time we're going to fight Russia, we're going to take Vologda, Bolosero, and Olonets, and uh, we can return core from Novgorod to Tikfin, and we can feed him there, uh, like, just like transfer occupation, give him this. And then I can give him the rest of this crap. And uh, I can even grant province. And that way we'll keep our tentacle intact, whilst at the same time having my vassals on both sides of the tentacle. So, that is ideal. Now we're going to get a new tentacle down here somewhere. Uh, I'm hoping we can maybe release... Uh, oh wait, can we release Kazan already? I don't think we can. I mean Kazan. Actually, I'm not so sure if Kazan will be a good vassal. Right now, I'm thinking more we want uh, Astrakhan as a as a vassal because he's um, he picks religious ideas. Uh, Novgorod also picks religious ideas, and they pick Admin, which is really good. Uh, but we've covered that in the last episode. Do I live in Maskanji? No, 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 no. Stop lying about my age, you goddamn forty-one-year-old. Someone got to me. Okay, so um, what to do? Look, this is amazing though. We took 100% off of Russia and Perm is sitting there like, well, I don't care. 22 aggressive expansion, that's it. So many reductions, ladies and gentlemen. We got so many reductions. We got negative 25, negative 20, negative 10, negative 25, Negative 20 is negative 45, and then we've got negative 5, just negative 40, and then we have um, negative 10 here, it's negative 60, and then we're using a CB that has, um, I don't know what they have. Where's my outliner? God damn it. I missed my outliner. Ugh. Okay, so, am I planning to annex with Sang? Yes, yes. But only after I've fed him the remainder of this. When does my truce with Oidrat over? 67. I could go eat Perm for all intents and purposes, it's fine. My truce with Gorchin is over, and we're unseaging this. I don't have a truce with Xi. I'd like to wrap that up before we continue derping about in Asia. I mean, in Europe. Two Swiss Kui ends in seven years. Two double two here. Okay. And this ends 67. So, what we're gonna really just try to do is pay attention to Scandinavia. And when they peace out, we're going to sell them a ship and we're going to wreck them. Also, the Ottomans don't quite like the fact that I took uh, two of their provinces. Uh, two provinces that they had a claim on, but we had no other choice, so he better... Uh, he better stay buddy-buddy with me, or we're uh, a little bit screwed. So I'm gonna keep one army down here, because I don't need more help. And I'm gonna send one army down, and I think we'll just send over to... I don't know. In a general that-way direction, for now. <clears throat> Now, I could just take Xi for myself, that'd be fine as well, but... Holy War CB is negative 25, thank you! So that leaves us with a 15% aggressive expansion then. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. Yeah, Utsang hasn't fully finished coring, he still needs, uh... He's, he's still at about 50%. He's scoring one, two, three, four. The only thing he's not scoring is Beshbalik, which is 10% uh, overextension. Right, 
finish some cores. How was work? Work was good. Work was good. What's my general uh, strategy for Scandinavia, Sweden, Finland? Sell a ship. To be honest, I don't need to, because Scandinavia is much weaker than Russia. But, um, why would I not? I ask myself that question, and then I have no answer to that. And the Ottomans stopped wanting my provinces. He might have even abandoned his claims in has not. But he stopped wanting my provinces. So that's good. How are my, uh, how is this doing? Okay, that's doing all right. Spain still at war, Portugal still at war, Austria is not at war, that guy's not at war. I need to make sure that these people are at war, uh, are not at war, so I can sell them a ship. Um, and this, the, like the moment, ooh. Okay. Yeah, I, I still wanna kill him. I still want to kill this guy, but I can't get a CB on him. He's been colonizing provinces like a complete pussy. He doesn't want me to fabricate a claim on him. But I'll let him colonize some more, that's fine. Unless he gets attacked by someone. Build a quick ship, ship so you can sell it later. Beat you to it. I've got ships right here. Of course, I could get a couple of ships up into Chem. That way I'll have a range up here to sell ships. I wonder if my boss watches my stream. Oh, we talk a lot about my streaming thing. After a while, I had to because I wanted to, like, Sunday is like the best streaming day, right? But Sunday is also really busy at work. And I work there part-time because I'm like a student, right? So I was like, well, you know, I don't mind working on any day of the week, but not on Sunday. Because on Sunday, I have to do that streaming thing. Well, I don't have to, but I want to do the streaming thing on Sunday, because it's amazing on Sunday. And he was like, okay, I understand. I'm like, great. And then I didn't have to work on Sunday anymore. Of course, sometimes I do, you know, when shit hits the fan, but most of the time I'm going to be free on Sunday. So. Let's just go kill the- oh shit, if I, um, oh, I have to end this war fast. Because if I don't, um... And your boss said, what's streaming? No, no, uh, we talk about it a lot. He was the one that told me to use a face cam. <laughs> you need to get that head of yours and make your funny faces. I was okay. Let, let's try that. So yeah, that's the funny story of how I started streaming with a face cam. I used to do videos on YouTube. Like just videos on YouTube, like I didn't do anything else, I didn't do streaming, and then um, yeah, I didn't have cam at, at first, and I changed later. Really wish this would show current numbers. I would suppose I can ask you for money. Oh, I can. That's another 2,000 ducats to my name. And then I can send them a gift. Can I uh, get some more of these manpower buildings? I don't have a lot of states to work with, so this is kind of iffy. But plus 500, man, that's going to make uh, quite a sizable difference. What's my job? I work as a waiter. I wait tables. I really need to sell a ship to Spain, first and foremost. Well, it would be ideal if I could. It would be ideal if I could sell a ship to, like, 
Spain, Austria, Lithuania, Scandinavia. Spain, Austria, Scandinavia, Bohemia, and that, and that's gonna be it. Unfortunately, I can't sell ships to any anyone else. But if I sell a ship, like I was thinking, I wanted to sell a ship to Austria, right? Because it's like Austria is really big and. Uh, I mean Lithuania because Lithuania is really big. They have a lot of troops. Lithuania is under a PU under Austria, and if I sell ships to uh, to Austria but not to Lithuania, Lithuania is going to want independence. Give me that money, give me that glorious money, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I really, really wanted to make sure I had 20 provinces in all of my trading companies. All right. He also wears a wig to cover his receding hairline. Oh. I actually ask my uh, my hairdresser every time because my brother, uh, my brother is bald, and my one of my brothers is bald, and my my dad's also bald. So I was like, oh shit, am I gonna go bald? I don't want to go bald. So every single but like my hair is a little different because it's blonde and theirs is brown. So there's something different there. And my other brother. His hair is also brown, but he, he, he's, he's, he's not going here. He's not going bald. So, I waged my chances at 50-50 that I'm gonna go bald. 50-50, ladies and gentlemen. 50-50, but, I mean, let, let's, let's just hope not. <laughs> Fuck, I'm freezing? Am I freezing? Let me know. Let me know if I'm actually freezing. So how much overextension would she be if I were to full annex in for myself? 58. I think I'll do that. I think I'll just take it for myself. We can maybe combine this with um, annexing somebody else, like Korchin. <laughs> Holy shit, Strindberg. I, I think I'd know. <laughs> no freezing here. More states would be better, yeah, but more states would also cost more admin. So Yeah, they they nerfed that event quite a bit since I uh, last really used it, but it's still really strong. If we play a little faster, you to you're going to see that we're going to get literally like I think 30,000 dockets out of that event alone, so Quite happy with that. How long have I been on? A oh, couple minutes. Couple minutes. Wait, I thought you surrounded our red. Uh, I did, but he had uh, a couple provinces over here, and he just went ham on Uzbek. I suppose I don't really know what happened. I wasn't really paying attention to uh, Oi Rat in particular. Scandinavia is still at war. Yeah, perfect timing. And the speed at which we did, like, I, I look back at the recording and, and it's like, what the fuck happened? I don't... Every time, man. But like when I look back at the recording of the original, like the Ridge Three Mountains run, the Ridge Stretch, get it? Cause there's three mountains. The Ridge. Okay, I. Uh, <laughs> I looked at that, and we were in 1700, and we we conquered China, but we hadn't even touched India yet, and we were like, whoa! I had to go so fast there. So are there any plans to dismantle the HRE soon? We had a plan, 
but I decided not to because it would be way too risky for what it was worth. So we're, we're not doing that. If it were one war, then maybe. But now, I don't know, I'm not so sure. Maybe like combine uh, the sheepy steel with Ming and Korchin. Yeah, we can do that. Have to hurry up though, because my cores are almost finished. And there happens to be a capital, I mean a fort on top of that province. Gotta love the Ottomans though, them helping me out like this. Oh, they changed their mind! Fuck me. No, now he's locked. Now he has to go in. Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna need to give them something, so I may as well give them that. And according to the events, it happens more often if you make it bigger. Either that, or it um, increases the money you get from that. Although the money I get from that is also pretty lackluster. At least from what I've seen. Spain's no longer at war. I can't sell him a ship right now, though. So I'm gonna need to be at peace really fucking soon. Because he, he can rival me, I'm like pretty sure. for a very long time, isn't he? I'm gonna catch him. This is a matter of life and death right now. Yeah, becomes 5% more common. But how... Because I've got... How many trade companies now? I've got a lot of trade companies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Whoa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... That have a chance of giving me the event. With 20 provinces on all of them. You build a fort on my capital yet? You betcha. Oh, this fortune motherfucker. Sucks so much that I can't catch him. Where's he going? I don't know where he's going either. This is so stupid. Stop running away from me. Can I, can I get a guy with some maneuver? Yes! Okay, I'm gonna catch him. Okay, caught him. Let's go piece these people out. Ow. And I probably want to head over to Novgorod and placate local rulers. So, Korchin. I will feast on your flesh.
fuck off with the rebels, will you? Alright, she. I will also feast on your flesh. And, uh. Give me some of that good stuff. Perfect. So, let's get ourselves four free diplomats. Shit, Scandinavia is still a freaking war, man. But I, I mean, I've got no choice. Like, Spain's gonna rival me at any given second now. Oh, he's at war still. He. Ah, oh, no, he's at war again. That's the problem. Why did I even peace out? Well, I mean, I peaced out because I wanted to peace out. <sighs> Shit. Well, Switzerland is really going ham. And he's allied with France. I'm kind of surprised France doesn't want this land. Most unfortunate. I wouldn't want to fight Kazakh. Cause, uh, well, I mean, why wouldn't I? And getting into a war with Russia right now is not something I particularly enjoy. What are the odds of this run being successful? Uh, they're pretty high. Pretty high. I'm feeling quite good about this. Why is Japan still alive? What an excellent question. Why is Japan still alive? I suppose we could go kill Japan. Must we wait? For people like Europe to be at peace. That is indeed an excellent question. One that I do not have an answer for. To it. Um, I don't really need to do this, but me as well. Why don't I want to fight Russia? Because I have a truce with them. Till 73. Now, I could have fought him... Right after I read and then white pieced him so that the truth would be lower, but uh, I don't really have time for shenanigans like that. 